I, your host with the most collective detective because my methods are effective and I'm making a correction in the direction of my erection. I am nicer than a splicer, but I'm still part of the dirty horde. And like the title says tonight, we're going to duel with that. One of the night cavalry because I want their glaive and I'm going to get it. Of course, it would be much easier. Shit. I made a mistake. I should have just gloated it over here. Come on. Get off the horse. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you see me, asshole? Okay, here we go. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come at me, bro. Whoa! What? Holy shit! Okay, that was quick. Oh! Knight of the Realm, and I earn this. Yeah! Good, good. Well, that was quick. I was expecting a little more uh, action. No witnesses. All right. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. You, the one who holds both of crescents. Take the path to the grand lift ahead. I already did. For you are the one who will be Lord. <laughs> Bear witness, one and all, the Lord is returned. The Elden Lord is come again. <laughs> um, I don't think that's a sentence. Let me just get away from you. I believe that's how you get to the dual area. Let's see how this thing looks. Oh. Well, obviously we need to make some modifications. Look at that thing. No thrusting? I mean, it shit, it looks badass. <laughs> I'm gonna upgrade it to its maximum capacity just because it looks badass. Let me take a screenshot of this. Oh, yeah, I got an idea. Got the blue door in the in the background. Now that's a badass shot right there. Ah! Now I can't get it! There. Fucking beautiful. Oh! Wait a minute. It does have a thrusting attack. I 
love it. God damn. Let me see. This thing one handed. I mean, it just looks badass. But this one. I'll upgrade it. I'll upgrade it. Just that this is really important in this game. For those uh, moments. Damn, I love the way I look. Let me see something. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Looks like my hat is heavier than anything I got. But I worked hard for this. Even though, obviously, everything around me will give me better stats. But every now and then, you know, maybe it's not about the stats. Maybe it's just about having the fun, you know, cosplaying a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So now, where do we go now? What was that? How many other mausoleums did I miss? I'm pretty sure I screwed up with the mausoleums, and now I'm going to have to do, it again, do them again. Before I do my second playthrough, I'm going to go ahead and um, hmm. Where do we go? Where do we go? What do we do? I mean, yeah, you know, common sense would tell me let's go after Godfrey, but I I, I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't think I have the blood pressure today. <laughs> Even though I should. Maybe I can find some people that um, will help me out with this thing. <sighs> it's going to be hard as hell. But if I lose my souls, I'll lose 13,000. those I don't know if the shield is any help on this one this is no good this is no good this is no good Let's see anything that can that'll help and then I need more items that'll help me negate the damages of that. Huh. Let's see what let's see if we can get some people first of all. Wouldn't make much sense. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm better off with just one claymore and being used, uh, you know, one bl bloodhound step most of the time. Let's see if maybe we can get this done. Helos. And who are you? Hero.
looking for someone else. Let's see a day up here. Hero and Helos. Damn, hope you guys are as good as you look. He hit me! Woo! What the fuck? I thought I did, got it on time. Shit. I hate that thing. Fucking torture. Woo! Oh. Heal. Oh boy. Oh god damn it. That fucking cheap ass move. so hard to fucking time but whatever I got to the second stage. That's about as good as I can get. Woo! Oh shit! Oh, choke slam! Ah! Ah, the pile driver! Ah! I would have probably been able to take more damage if I had the other armor, but I'm sick and tired of playing, you know, strength and weakness is bullshit. I want to just have a little bit of fun playing the game. That's why I kept it. I wonder if the Golden Great Shield times 25 would have given me even more guard boost. But it's weight. It, well. I must visit the bird and consider.
consult. I must visit the bird. Especially now that I lost all my souls. Oh dear bird. Oh my god. Where's Rufus and David when I need them? Dear bird, I come to you for counsel. And for souls. What the fuck? Stop stop doing that. Stop backpedaling and just fucking die. Oh my god, really? You're gonna make me wait? Dumb creature. Don't you realize this is your purpose? It's your purpose to go in there. It's your purpose. Die. Bye. Yay. All right. Now we kill these cocksuckers. Mr. Red Man over here. Yep. Who? 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 Where's that guy? <laughs> he fell down? <laughs> Total, I got 45,000. I don't know if I would have gotten the same amount if I would have just sat down with the bird and had a conversation. Pretty sure I could have done more. Hey, bird! Yay! Yeah, I think I should have done, I could have done more with the bird. It's the one thing I hate doing. It's like farming while broadcasting. Sorry, people. I uh, I need to consult the bird. Looks like I could get one of those guys uh, that drops like a million lords runes <laughs> to um to the people they visit in the games. Drop down, asshole. Oh my god. I don't believe this shit. Yeah, there is someone up here. Drop down. Drop down, asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Yes. <laughs> they patch you guys real good. I know that. The 
past, you would have. The first time I did this, oh man, they were dropping so easily. Now they they think about it. They, they run around. See, now now they backpedal. That's stupid. It's like, come on, man, don't don't. You know, you don't you don't um, you don't nerf Melania, M Melania and her fucking uh, ridiculous damage and damage absorption. And HP absorption, and you, 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 but, but the bird, the bird is a priority. Yeah. Fuck the people who just want to play the game and earn place here. Uh, I remember first when 10,000 souls were like a big deal to me. I'm like, oh shit, I need, I need to do this right. Come on, asshole. Yay. In fact, if anything, you're gonna... If you're gonna do anything, you should just make them worth more. Feel bad for the guys who are level 300 and shit, and now they gotta spend so many, so many souls on increasing their levels. I mean, but at, at the same time, you know, at that point, why would you need so many souls to begin with? Yay! And where the hell did they get that giant concrete shield? That's the one thing I haven't seen. And I don't want to look it up online because it's not like a big priority for me to find. I'm just curious because that would have that would have been my first choice at the beginning of the game. You could definitely farm a million souls if you want to do that, but it just, you see, this is the problem, it's it, inconsistent. Now it's pack pedaling, which it didn't used to do in the beginning. You can tell that this thing must be very annoying to kill naturally, because of all the hits, it just takes... Of course, the distance doesn't help me at all, but... Whatever! See, when it does that a second time, that's just stupid. Do it a fir do it one time, and that's okay. Alright, fine, you wanna fuck with us, you know, and whatever? Yeah, okay, ha ha ha, you got, you got it, you got us. But don't, don't, don't make it backpedal a second time, because then it's just a waste of time. It's just a fucking waste of time. And I don't like wasting my time. Let alone the people who gotta watch this at some point to figure out what the hell happened to me. I gotta analyze every like second of footage. It's like, see, where would it all, where did it all go wrong? How did he end up like that? Let's find out. So they gotta be analyzing all this shit footage to see, oh my god, what happened to this guy? Why did he end up the way he did? Bye, asshole. I don't know why they made this bird so, you know, costly or so expensive, you know? Oh, come on! They could have easily just made a giant this expensive, and I would have had a little bit more fun, you know, battling four giants in a mountain top or something.
they should have like a like an Elden Ring newsletter where you know like hey guys for this weekend only all giants are worth 20,000 souls and then you get events like that like every once in a month or not or not even tell like people just do it and just start, let people discover it and have word of mouth you know that's how you that's how your product you know takes off when you get your fans involved and it's like hey guys i found out this week's this this, this month's um you know heavy item is i don't know the snail in the bottomless pit cave it's thirty thousand. something bullshit like that people will come back in droves <laughs> I've been, uh, one thing I've been, uh, I've noticed about my job recently is that I've been getting a lot of Spanish-speaking people in the drive-thru. And I'm like, well, everybody, everybody always calls me to like, hey, Andres, uh, can you deal with the customer? They, they, they only speak Spanish. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. I, and I don't mind. I don't mind at all. It's just, you know, it just bothers me a little bit because I learned, I learned English you know, so I wouldn't have an accent. So I wouldn't sound like a like a regular Latino. I work really, really hard. And it's like, you know, I'm not getting enough uh, out of it. And I don't mean, I don't mean to, you know, be mean or whatever. But it's just, you know, I, I worked hard for, for the, for the, you know, for my English. I work really, really hard in my English. I have the best English that... I probably had the best English in my entire school. I have no qualms about it. I can tell you right here, right now, that when I was about 15 or 16, I had the best English that school had ever had. And I would throw my English to any Latino that had been raised in the island. Without any doubt. Tigger, no. My cat is going up on the TV. No. Um, I would gladly defend my English. And I worked hard at it. I worked hard and I felt like living in Puerto Rico. I wasn't getting used, of, used for it. <laughs> I, I didn't, wasn't using it for anything. So I wanted to get used for it. Um, so I finally moved here and I finally got used for it. But I see that my fellow Latinos um, don't do the same. It's like they come to the US without any kind of preparation for the, you know, the language, you know, and I get it, you know, hey, you're always gonna find people who speak Spanish. Um, and I'm not gonna like, you know, abandon them or whatever, but I think that some kind of effort must be, uh, must be done by, you know, the rest of my, my Latinos brothers and sisters to, to merit their 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 stay on on this country, I worked hard for this English. I work really really hard for this English, and I want them to do the same. It doesn't, because uh, it's not like you know. It's not like it's not a difficult language. Learning Spanish, if you know English, learning Spanish is a harder thing to do. Learning English is easy compared to learning Spanish um, after you know English. Very, very easy. Um, and you have to take into account, you know, the time you put into it. I put a lot of time and effort into my English. I, um,. I would, um, I live in Spanish, you know, with my parents and all that, but I would play with my toys in English because my toys were Transformers, G.I. Joes, um, Legos, Star Wars, everything. Well, I can't remember. This was one of the smartest things I ever thought of as a kid. Um, I thought to myself, 
you know, all these toys are in English. It just takes a lot, it takes a lot, you know, longer for me to translate everything I'm doing in, in, in from Spanish to English than it would take to just play in English. So I just played in English. And honestly, I liked it. It was a lot easier having to translate all the uh, voices and I mean, all the um, dialogue, all the names, all the vehicles, the uh, characters and everything into Spanish. It just would have taken away from a lot. I mean, I can, can't imagine just me playing Transformers and having to talk like Optimus Prime or the Autobots like in Spanish. It just wouldn't have the same ring to it. Like, you know, until that day, till all are one. I, hasta ese día, que todos seamos uno. It just wouldn't. No, 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 no. All my, all the characters spoke English. All the character names were in English. I was not going to <laughs> go through that. I was determined to play in English, so I played in English. And I also watched baseball games, a lot of baseball games, and also imitated the way they sounded. You know. You know, when Harry Carey was broadcasting the Cubs games, I would remember, and I, I would remember imitating, you know, um, when he would sing the uh, seventh inning stretch and all that, I would remember, and I, I, it was a lot of fun for me. It was a period of a lot of fun and a lot of learning. And like I said, I took great pride in it. And I don't take pride in, let me, let me just clear this out. I don't take pride in bragging about it, but I do brag about it because I can. Um, finally, I came to the U.S. and I'm a citizen of the United States of America. And I get to use the language that I worked so hard for. My parents are extremely proud of it. Um, they're not proud of the fact that I this basically disown the family name by moving. I am no longer eligible for my inheritance, apparently, because I moved here. And the lawyer specifically said that, um, you know, when that eligibility opens, I have to be in the island. Otherwise, you know, and my brother's contesting that as well. He's like, uh, he wants my eligibility revoked because that way he can convince my parents to sell the house without my signature. And since I'm one of the in, the um, benefactors from that, you know, from the from the family estate, um, we need to have all three signatures. My older brother has signed, my middle brother has signed, but I'm not ready to give up the home that I grew up in just so that he can have a second fucking yacht. No, I'm not I'm not having that. So in legal terms, I am not forced to sign the document if I don't feel it is appropriate for me to sign if it doesn't benefit me. And he is pissed off. And and he doesn't like the fact that I know this, that I'm aware of it because I consulted some people. And the people that I consulted with have told me that the moment I get off that plane, he is going to shove those documents into my face for me to sign. He's going to put all kinds of pressure and make me feel all kinds of guilt for all, oh, you know, uh, this and that. He's going to use my nephews. Oh, think of the money that they would receive when we sell the estate. Think of the money that uh, that I would get. Think of the money that you would get and all that shit. I, I, I get it. Yeah. But it's just, I can't imagine going to Puerto Rico and not being able to stay where I grew up in. Having to like, oh, you're staying at your brother's house or whatever, but we cannot go back to this, you know, to, to the yard and the fields where we grew up in ever again. It's like, 
no. You know, especially while my parents are alive. As long as my parents are alive, I will not sign anything so that to enable him to be able to sell the house. Never. When they're gone, that's another story. But this is the, the house that my parents, you know, worked their asses off to, uh, to keep running. And even when my parents retired the second time. Yeah, because my dad retired um, uh, too early and he got bored. <laughs> leave, it, leave, it to, leave it to him to uh, think twice about retiring because he just got bored. His ass got bored and he bought a travel agency just so that he could have something to do. And my mom joined him in that travel agency. And it was it was really weird. Like going to college in Puerto Rico and you know having my friends come up to me and say, Wait, weren't your parents retired? It's like, yes, they retired. My dad retired it was like he was like forty, forty two or something like that. About my, around my age um, but he got bored he got bored <laughs> it's, it's yeah it's it's something it's exactly something I would do it's like I could not live my life just waiting for investments to make their way into my pocket I would have to I would have to do something from not maybe nine maybe not nine to five but at least work at something because I would just get so bored out of my ass I would not last and it's the same with him it's the same with him and my mom my mom also got bored and it's, it's like you know we could either travel or work and my dad said we're gonna work <laughs> you know because well they're my parents they they have this innate ability to um just work my dad can barely walk without a walking cane, yet he still finds his time to do, you know, mosaics and, you know, stained glass art. Um, and I'm like, you could just sit on your ass for the rest of your life, not have to give a damn about, you know, your sons, because, you know, we're already good. We're good. We're in good shape. Um, you know... We're, we're good but the fact that he he still feels like he's got you know so much to give it just it's just that, that's where i get it from i guess you know the non-complacency with the way things are and i could like sit sit here and tell you like all kinds of bullshit about you know you know, I just grew up in a very rich household. And it's overrated. And it was overrated. If anybody tells you, like, oh, God, what I would do with your with your money, it's like, no. You want it? Take it. But you take with it the, you know, everything else. The, the attention from the wrong people. The, uh, no, no, no. Believe me. It's overrated. It doesn't solve problems. It makes more. You got people coming over to you, you know, pretending they're your friends or whatever bullshit. No, they're not. They're just there because you buy them drinks. Nothing else. Believe me. You got to be wary of parasites that are, like, entering in and out of your life. Oh, hey, Andres. Hey, hey do you mind loaning me this? Do you mind loaning me that? It's... And it gets to a point where you kind of like, wow, that's all I was, you know, just, uh, just a fucking, um, I don't know, loaning money machine. God damn it, I want to. What about this? Golem's halberd. See, the problem is I, I'd like to see a projection of what this weapon could be completely upgraded and what what, uh, uh, sorry, what this weapon was when it was brand new. God damn it. 
so I can compare if this is going to be worth um, upgrading. Because, by God, that that just this just looks badass. And so does this. I just I'm just not a fan of the whole spinning thing. See, 670 is a lot better than 512, but if I know that this is going to end up being like 6-something, I'll sacrifice the... Uh... Maybe I should go back to uh, Godric and try it again. Boy, if I could get those two guys that help me with Melania, oh, that would be so choice. <sighs> those two guys were just absolute badasses. I had never seen two guys just... Well, I wanted two slashers. I needed two, uh, two blademen with me for that particular battle so that the centipede move could work. Otherwise, it won't. I need two blade men to do the centipede. Otherwise, it's just not effective. Centipede, just so you know, is a formation. You need two bladesmen on either side to attack while the third person is in the middle and takes swipes, frequent swipes. Let's get in there. <laughs> All right, asshole, remember me. That they hit me? Really? What? Already? Oh shit. I think I stuck it in his mouth. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Where is he? Oops. Don't let him grab you. Shit.
was my fault. <laughs> God damn it. Why is it always failure? Let me see. Damn. Maybe I should, uh... Maybe I should try that. It's a hard one to carry. But who knows, maybe that's exactly what I need. Damn, that guy was good. I wasted him. I'm running out of these things. Let's hope uh, you, Timis, can you can you be summoned? Someone else around here? Ooh, yes. Bubba Pitter? What? Where'd all these people go? Tell me I'm getting invaded. Oh. Hey! Let's see if King Argus can uh, help us out, too. Everybody here hey. looks like a badass. All right. Hi. We're back. Sorry about last time. I just, um, I just thought maybe I'd remind you of a little bit of this. Oh boy. Oh, I missed! Bullshit! Oh boy. Hate that thing. This guy can help. the realm and I earned this you're next whoever you are touch it T touch it Ah. Uh, wait. But I'm not ready. Why is it over here? Oh, Rufus would gonna be so proud. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know it's a, it's a silly video game, but still, you know, it's been a fun video game too. At this point, I'm not sure what to do. I didn't even use the special on that thing. It's just that my guys were overpowered as fuck. Let me send them a message. I got to I got to send those guys a message. Always be grateful, always be grateful. <laughs> I'm always, 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 always um, grateful for everybody's help. I've received a lot of help in this game. Like a lot of help. And I'm always grateful. Always grateful for that. A lot of people's time I've wasted. <laughs> oh my god, I have failed to... They, does this have like a stats place where I can like check to see... Wait a minute. We're at the end game, are we? I should stick with what worked, but not ready to give up on the claymore just yet. I still had the uh the the bow there. I wonder what's next. Visions of good luck? What is what does that mean? Visions of light? What is this? What is this? Well, He replied, <laughs> that's so cool. Wait, what's this? Griffin. Wait, why do I need a... It's the end game, isn't it? Where did Griffin go? This is the end game. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to end this game. Besides, I'm not going to do it tonight. It's too late. I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Let's see. What does this mean? X. Ah, cha cha. What does that mean? I need help. Menu explanation. Okay. That's it? What about those um, high multiplayer status? I want to help some people. But it can't be Melania. I'm not... I don't think I'm good enough to help anybody with that boss. I can help them with the uh, oh the right the carrier boss. Where's that bonfire at? Is it the Church of the Cuckoo? Cuckoo, cuckoo. Mean Academy Gate. <laughs> what did she do to my um the guy? Where is he? You killed him. Where is he? He's naked now. What the fuck? What the hell happened to him? What did you do? Time for... <laughs> whatever. It's one of those things that, you know, the first time it's funny. What is in there? Is that where Ronnie's soul is kept? Thou art thou now Be not. Oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna put my my summoning sign out here. See if I can help somebody beat this bitch. I was pretty good at that. Probably somebody else around here trying to beat her. Right. So is this the strongest weapon I have? 790? Yeah, it is. Tell me this doesn't look fucking intimidating. What is this sword made of anyway? It's like a thousand other swords, kind of like the... Oh, I see. Wait a minute. I see. I see what's going on here. What does that look like to you? That's the fucking Iron Throne from Game of Thrones. And who was co right who was who wrote the lore for this game? George R. R. Martin. So oh <laughs> So why not pay homage to the man who's working beside you? That is absolute badass. Now will somebody summon me, will ya? Can't I just leave the summon sign here and have somebody send a cover to several nearby summoning pools? Um, yeah. Damn, this is heavy as fuck. I wonder some, what, what some of those, uh, you know, sword experts would think about this thing. If uh, they would be asked, like, hey, 
do you think uh, do you think a knight would ever wield this in combat for real? But probably like, no. Maybe a knight that had a death wish and just wanted to. Come on, summon me. Feels kind of useless like this. Scale. Ooh. No? No? What the fuck? I choose an early boss because I know that in later bosses I don't think I can help anybody. Um, just not that good of a player. If you want to know the truth, I am not. I'll be the first one to tell you. I never even used that thing and... Let's see, how does that affect my... Holy shit, takes it up to 875. Probably somebody out there thinking like, that's not... That's not enough. Like, yeah, but to me it's like huge. Come on. Wanna help? Jesus! I'm a guy who wants to help! Let me help! I'm sure as hell not going to Melania's battle. I am not that good at all. Can you just summon me, please? I'll be here. A statue. Boy, I wish I could pump stats into that glaive. Or at least get it as a thrusting weapon. Come on! Please summon me. I mean, shit. What do people see when they when they when they look at my sign? It's like this or this. I mean, either way, doesn't this shit look intimidating? I mean, fuck. I wouldn't want to fight me. Just summon me for God's sakes. If nobody summons me, I'm gonna have to go to another pool. Oh, this is a hotbed for multiplayer, isn't it? Why there? Road said this catacombs. Maybe uh maybe Snake Man. Maybe Snake Man I might I might have better luck with Snake Man. He's a the audience that's what is it let's go there and find out because I'm not really sure what this red and blue thing mean so let's just 
Oh shit, wait a minute. I, I I don't think I can help anybody with this boss. I my my snake weapon is terrible. Ooh, wait, the Raya Lucaria cat wait, no. Magic bitch. Where's magic bitch? Here, isn't she? Oh boy. I think I, I think I might have made it worse now. Oh boy. Okay. I hope this guy is forgiving. I hope he has this thing. Oh, fuck. He's watching the cutscene. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Oh, fuck. Wait. Why am I not doing any damage? Survive? Holy shit, I didn't notice the pools of uh, lava here. Oh shit. Whatever, I kinda... Well, he knows how to use that thing. He or she. Oh god! The poison! The poison is poison! Shit. Shit, gotta heal. Oh boy. Graphics are just amazing. Ooh.
Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it. That's using the old noggin. I didn't do my part. Wow. Okay, so I guess I must use the... Um... Where's the serpent shit? It says... It's... Uh... God damn it. It's a Kamehameha wave and shit. <laughs> We're both like waiting for the same thing. Oh, here we go. Wait, I didn't hit him? That sucks. Oh shit, the toxins! I'm not, I'm not hitting him, am I? I don't think I'm doing anything. Wait, I got no, I got no power. I'm not hitting him or doing anything. God damn you. There we go. Ah! Wait, what, what, what must I do to hit him then? Upgraded this weapon. Oh, my 
God, if I keep missing. I don't have any more magic. I'm fucked. Gotta say something for the second round. Oh no. Now I'm fucked. Oh, okay. Not yet. I'm gonna do something at least. Ah, the spew, the toxin! the end of the hole. We gotta move. Ah, the toxins! Whatever. Get up! Host? Host, what are you doing? Ah! Host, I'm giving you plenty of room to do something! Whatever, I jumped. Oh my god. I tried, I... Uh, I'm not very good help, am I? Damn. I'm not very good help to anybody. Maybe I should uh, upgrade this thing. Maybe I should have upgraded this thing. Or maybe I can do something else, like... Or okay, if this is if I get six and when I get five and two and then four and three, is that how it would work? I hope. Otherwise, this is going to be a really annoying trip. I never thought I was going to be back here, let alone use this thing. <clears throat> Somebody's going to need help against the Lord of Blasphemy. <laughs> I was lucky enough to get a guy who knew what he was doing. This poor guy got me. <laughs> I didn't know shit. Just happy I got rid of Godfrey today, which is a step forward in the right direction. We're moving along. I am in no hurry to finish this game. 
I wanted to at least um, one of my friends well, I won't say he caught me he kind of asked me if I was tanking a few times I'm like at the beginning yeah at the beginning I was trying to extend the life of this of the stream but later on I uh, <laughs> later on I wasn't whole thing with millennia no i wasn't whenever i get killed like an I, like destroyed no i wasn't tanking it And just get somebody to summon me. That would be great. And yeah, lately it does feel like this chat, this uh, my channel, has gotten to become a um, Elden Ring exclusive. But I guarantee you, it is not. I assure you, it is not. I just, you know, this game has uh, caught my attention, and it's just. Um, Complete coincidence that it's the only thing I'm streaming at the moment. But I assure you, there's a lot more to this channel than just that. Jesus Christ, maybe I can get somebody. Not that I'm a impatient person, but I just want to play something. Maybe I can find something else. What else? Who else do we have around here that? I know Radon is a hotbed for that, but I don't feel like taking him on. I'm not gonna torture somebody. Mog is a pain in the ass. These are just people. Ch if these are multiplayer, like uh, invaders, I, I don't know what all that means. How about Godric the Crafted? Where is he? Secluded cell. That might be the best place to start. Let's just go there, I guess. All right. Let me get my weapons corrected here. Damn, I could use that. But this does so much more damage. You know, I, I can tank this guy.
Okay. Well, this has been less productive. <laughs> I honestly thought this would be a lot faster. Guess I was wrong. Just that there's supposed to be plenty of people here. I want to help. Nah. Fuck. But the Royal Lucario Academy would have been the perfect spot. To help people, but I guess not. Up here? Let's go there. At least check. Yeah, this would be the, uh... Can you imagine having to sit? I mean, how would this person here communicate with that person over there? It's like, hey! How's the soup? What? How's the soup? Aren't there enemies around here? Yep. Alright, put this thing here. There's gotta be somebody here. Just wait patiently. I should have just gone after the boss. Well, we did that already. Let's go back to the Raya Lucaria Academy. Maybe find somebody there. did to my C uh, to my tailor or whatever the hell his name whatever he was I'll put my sign down here no god damn it sense to use the shield.
Come on, really? Okay. <sighs> We're gonna leave it there. Obviously, this is a... Uh... This is not working. Um, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to prepare myself for that um, next boss, whatever he is or whoever he is. But I want to thank you all for watching. I'm glad to finally see getting some progress. The boss fight's here. So, this is Rick Hoff X1. Signing off.